Good morning. Welcome to the premium public video forecast discussion for Friday, November 10th, 2023. And before we begin, I just want to thank all the veterans out there. Today is the recognition of Veterans Day from the government and uh, tomorrow's the official day. So I just wanted to wish everyone um, who serve uh, my gratitude as uh, you know, what you do every day is just amazing. What's not so amazing is the weather today. And what I decided to do for this premium discussion, normally we look at the long range and this and that, but I wanted to focus in on what's happening today because it's very interesting because it's very El Nino-like, which is driven by this subtropical jet stream here. Okay, so we have all of this moisture coming from the subtropical jet driving through the Gulf of Mexico and heading right up the East Coast. And... You would think this is one very wet weather pattern, but not necessarily. What basically you have is a lot of low, a lot of high and mid level moisture and then some low level dry air. So, this is a perfect example of bark is worse than bite. Now, one of the things with this pattern right now is that the timing between these subtropical and polar jet streams is just a little bit off. Here's our polar short wave here. Here's our subtropical short wave. And here's all the moisture racing out ahead of it with our trough. In this case, because the timing is off, you get the subtropical low pressure system at the surface racing off the East Coast because we don't really have a very well-established blocking pattern in the Atlantic right now. So that exits out. And then the polar short wave as is diving in here and here is delayed. And so as a result, the cold air transport comes in after. And what you end up with is a split system, sheared system. So what we get at the surface here is a area of low pressure down to the south here with a generally stationary front and what looks like to be a lot of rainfall, right? Uh, you have a, certainly a lot of overcast skies with temperatures in the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. And temperatures aren't going to be moving all that much because of what we call Virga. Okay, so what is Virga? Well, let's take a look at this feature right here. Got that, this. Okay, so uh, this is from twisterdata.com, which is why you saw that brief ad there for a second. I do apologize. And what you have is a lot of dry air. So as you can see, up to around, let's say about 600 millibars or so, the atmosphere is completely saturated. So there, there's all your moisture. This matches all of this moisture, right? Very nicely. But as that moisture precipitates down, which is what we're seeing here, it runs into a ton of dry air at the surface and lower mid-levels. And so as a result, as that moisture is falling into all of this very dry air, it leads to evaporation. And what you get is evaporation cooling. So as a result, your temperatures don't really move all that much because you have all this moisture falling into all this dry air and keeping the surface temperatures cool and leading to overcast cloud cover. Now, as you head further south, and let's see if we can move this a little bit further south, let's say down towards Cape May, we'll plot this. And we'll probably pop up in our advertisement for a second, but we'll deal with that. Okay, as you go lower, notice this dry calm is not as, as, impressive as what we were seeing in the uh, in central New Jersey and as you head further northward and combine that with some of our lifting here this is phrenogenesis the mid levels that opens up to the potential for more scad showers not widespread rainfall but scad showers down towards southern New Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania but still more isolated showers here. So you have a lot of moisture in the mid levels of the atmosphere, especially around 600 millibars. But as it gets down towards the surface, it runs into all that dry air and you end up with a lot of cloudy skies, which is basically what we're going to be dealing with for the rest of the day. 
As we zoom out on the infrared satellite picture, once all of this presses to the south, high pressure starts to build in. We're still kind of split between the pattern here. I'm going to show you that in the forecast here. Here is our polar jet stream up here, and here's our subtropical jet stream. And you notice how the lines are packed here. This leads to what we call convergence and confluence. So all your air is getting basically forced into this area right here, right? And so as that's happening, it can't rise, it sinks. This is a sinking motion. So it sinks towards the surface. And what it does is build up high pressure. So it leads to fair weather conditions, although a bit chilly, as we get that cold air mass begin to build in. So this weekend's gonna be a bit chilly, but because of the convergence and confluence, it's also going to be dry. So as that all moves through, through this weekend to early next week, it's going to be pretty quiet with nothing really significant popping off. But on Tuesday, we'll have a sh short wave diving in from the polar jet stream from Quebec, really, and diving in and clipping into the region. That could lead to a few isolated showers. I would not be surprised in this scenario that we even get a few isolated flurries in the highest elevations with this little short wave dropping in. But the key word here is isolated and light. So not really expecting much. And then after that, we have another ridge axis. So it's setting up to be a quiet week. And notice we still continue to feature our progressive zonal pattern as we head on through this week with temperatures moderating to above normal levels once again and no major storms on the way. So let's dive into today's forecast. For today, cloudy, watch out for a few scattered showers as you head down to southeastern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, parts of central New Jersey, you'll get a little bit of shower action. Uh, as you head further north, the shower threat will be more isolated, but one thing that won't be isolated will be the chilly conditions with high temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s throughout the region, and just a cloudy, cool day. For tonight into tomorrow morning, high pressure will build in with clearing skies and low temperatures falling into the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast. Tomorrow afternoon, look for sky cloud cover with temperatures rebounding into the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast, mid 50s in the Delaware River Valley. On Sunday, high pressure remains in control with tranquil conditions and clear skies. Look for low temperatures, very chilly, in the mid to upper 20s over the northern interior, upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior and mid 40s along the coast. So Sunday is going to be the day where you really want to have a good coat on if you're heading out to any outdoor activities. Now on Monday, high pressure starts to exit. Look for sky cloud cover, a little bit more of a southwesterly wind here with low temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s and high temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s. On Tuesday, that little disturbance passes to our north with a few showers, mostly uh, isolated. Again, I can't rule out a few isolated flurries in the highest elevations as well, but no significant precipitation is expected with this low pressure system dropping through new england and clipping the northern Mid atlantic look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast on wednesday high pressure will be in control with sky cloud cover lows in the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior mid to upper 30s along the coast high temperatures in the mid to upper 40s over the northern interior upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast on thursday high pressure begins to depart with scattered cloud cover expected look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 30s high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior lower to mid 60s along the coast and on friday as an area of low pressure approaches look for increasing cloud cover with showers developing look for low temperatures to range from the lower to mid 40s and high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 60s over the northern interior lower to mid 60s along the coast and upper 60s to lower 70s in the delaware river valley that is your forecast discussion for today have a wonderful day and as always stay safe out there